Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to an AFL 23 challenge. We've obviously got our first big update for 2024. So I figured let's get into some challenges uh, that we want to do with this game. Because you, you obviously can't really do a career mode. It's not that flash at the moment. But And we want to have all of the updated lists and things. So we're going to do some challenges by trying to win games with just a specific type of player. Today, midfielders only. Hopefully not too much of a challenge, but obviously we might struggle in the ruck. Marcus Bontempelli is our captain, and we have an absolutely stacked team. But with a lack of key defenders, key forwards, and with Bontempelli in the ruck, it might be a challenge. So let's see how we go against the Brisbane Lions here today. And if we can get this job done, challenge is set. Here's Petrarca through the middle towards Cripps, and he's absolutely bombed it out of bounds. Oh, this is straight to Dacos. Now, I like this new camera angle that you can try here. Really gives you a nice little ground view of what's going on. You can see up the line that there is so many Brisbane players. Oh, Jeepers. Didn't realise that I was about to be called to play on. From outside the paint, high 45 in about a four on one. And it's going to be punched over the line, I think, by Jack Payne down there. And there's Danaher, and he's going to be probably the key for the Brisbane Lions today. Big key forward. And now they go backwards to go forwards up to the lead. Big fist away. Lockie Neal on the left. Sprays it to the right. Jesus, oh, so many contested footy plays here. Here's one of them, Dugowie, from outside the paint. He's going across the face, but it's all Brisbane down there anyway. Oh, and they played on. Oh, that's, that's indirect disposal holding the football. So Nat Fife. The man in the goal square for the Brisbane Lions. Not the Brisbane Lions. For the mids. The midfield balls. Fife's kick is... Oh, it's into the post. He slams it into it. Oh, he's got a man up along the wing. Anderson sort of creeping around from outside the boundary. Wins the footy back. And then he goes short and almost turns it over. But Chera can get a handball over to Petrarca. Back to Chera. And inboard one more. Finds Raul. Looks for the short kick. Misses him. Dugowie goes towards Tom Green. And this is good midfield work. The one thing we've got to our advantage is we have so many contested ball players that we should be able to do enough with it. Tom Green puts through the first of the game. Robertson. Oh, it's going to come to McCluggage. Found a man inside the 50. That's a big rundown tackle by the Midders. The, the Midders. What am I talking about? The Bulls. That might go through. Might have been Charlie Cameron. Indeed, it was just on the, the right shoe. Bending it sort of an, with an inside-out sort of a kick. There's the goey. Oh, good little soccer off the deck. Finds Petrarca, and uh, that is quarter time. Eight to seven. It's a low scorer. This is going to be a chaotic game, but look at the, the possession that we're already winning. Chera de Goey. Cripps, Petrarca, Doherty getting plenty of hands on the footy early. Uh, the possessions are fairly even as well. Second term about to get underway. I reckon we will not go up here against McInerney and we'll keep Cripps down and he might be a little bit more impactful. Maybe not quite on that occasion. Cameron was trying to get it out. Big McInerney again sends it forward. It's Dusty on Danner. Or maybe he's on Hipwood. <laughs> and of course Hipwood was probably going to outmark him most times. There's absolutely not a single person ahead of him here, Eric Hipwood. And, oh, he's almost missed from there. That narrowly shaved the post. I would have loved to see a score review. Have a look at this. Oh, jeez, it's very, very close. Was Butters long footy. LDU's down there. Got the handball away as he, yes, eventually. Ends up with Fife. Spills the handball to Anderson. From deep in the pocket, he tries to go with the... Outside of the shoe, but he just doesn't charge it up enough. Look at how many men around this ball. Cripps, he's probably not going to win the ruck. As big Oscar does. Took Miller. Kick. Terrible. Cripps. Petrarca got it free. Two Cripps. Can he get it on the shoe? I think he has, and he's kicked it. It was a big goal from the, uh, the Bulls ruckman. He's really just in there as an extra mid. Who else could we throw in the ruck? Maybe Dangerfield. Oh, that's a quick snap out of the pack. Goal. Brisbane. Quick response. Danaher it was. The key forwards are going to be the challenge. Down to the final two and a half minutes here of this opening term. Cripps wins the hit out. That might be the first and only time we see that today. Although, that's not going to work out for us. Dangerfield's going to have to try to mop up in defence. I think that might have been Barry with the grab. They can send it forward again, but Dangerfield does mop up his own poor work. Cripps, the big ruckman. 
charging through and he's just bombed it away. It's ended up with Kitty Coleman. LDU nowhere to be found. And that is half time. It's a five point Brisbane Lions lead. I know it's a low scorer, but it's it's a great game. We've only had the five inside 50s. It might have, been, might have only had one or two for the quarter. Um, but we did kick a goal, which is disappointing that we probably didn't do more than that. You can see the hit-out's 12-1. That is about to be expected. But the clearances are even. Um, and we're winning the contested footy. So that's our bread and butter as mids. Maybe a little bit more tackle pressure would be great. So a team of just midfielders are within a kick of the Lions at the halftime break. Plenty of guys playing out of position. Plenty of uh, questions still to be answered. There's Barry getting a handball at the back. Not sure who put the kick away, but it's going to be a goal for the Lions. No, it's not. It's a point. I thought it was a goal. Oh, Jesus. What is that? I'm pressing... Am I pressing the wrong button, or am I just... Or is the game silly? Probably a bit of both. That's a big goal, because we've obviously only kicked two for the half, and, and they're already two ahead. McCluggage is coming out for the Lions again. Neil... Sends it forward. They want to play on and go into the pocket. Danaher. Oh, well done, Doherty. Got the fist away. And then he wins his own footy back. Handballs to himself. Or maybe it was Laird. It was Laird. Got it back. Anderson. Back to Laird. He's had about four possessions in this play. And he can't get the kick away. Oh. All right, Cripps. Give me something here. He has got it to track. Now we're away. Through the middle. Raul just bombs it into space. Can Taranto get down there? He can. Spills the handball out towards Andrews, and again, it's five. That's that's twice he's put on that big forward pressure. Hasn't kicked the goal as yet. Kicked one into the post in the first term. That one's going left, is it? Oh, it is. That had to go through. That had to go through, Nathan. Coleman, run down. Miller to goal. Jeez, it's, it's been a pressure-filled quarter. Where not a lot has happened. Gee, that is an exquisite handball out of there from uh, from the Lions. And they can go inside 50 to Danaher. That's just clinical from the the, uh, the clearance. And as we hit three-quarter time, this is going to extend the lead out. Oh, and all that hard work I did in the third term undone. I think that was Chad Warner there who was playing on Danaher. Again, it looks like I've only had one inside 50 for the quarter. I had five going into three-quarter time. I've now got six. Got to win the ball out of the middle. The center clearance will be the key. Danaher has a couple. Zach Bailey. Zach Butters leading the way with the possessions. It's probably going straight to Bailey here, as it has probably most of the day. Maybe five. Not five. Cripps needs to compete a bit more. Again, it was Brisbane out of the middle. Just with clinical handball skills. There's the rundown tackle we needed. Cherart, can he get Cameron? He does. That's a handball to no one from Butters. Dugowie went back towards him, then back towards Dugowie. Put the tackle on, son. Didn't quite. Out there to Robertson in the pocket. Can he squeeze it home? Not quite. Looping handball to Miller. If he can find Taranto inside 50, that would have been it. Instead, it's McInerney repelling with a massive kick. He goes into the pocket. Oh, Hipwood just got Dusty on the lead. And we can't have Dusty at full back. It's not working for us. So Hipwoods, to make it an even three-goal game, he's done it. It's going to be very difficult from here. Oh, Dacos, great kick if Green can get to it, which he can. Gets the handball to Goulden. Got to get one more away. Does. Dacos, again, it spills. Back to Green. To Bontempelli from just inside the paint. He's missed everything. Would have loved a goal out of that. It's a great ball to Robertson. Oh, he played on. Hold the ball. He's kicked a match winner before, Noah Anderson, from a, a similar position, but a, a lot closer, obviously. This time, it's pretty good. Back to two goals. We're a, a, a minor chance. We're midfielders. So if anything, we could win the ball out of the middle. We haven't done it all day, but you never know. Oh, here we go. Petrarca. No, let him kick the footy. I don't know where any of my players are. I don't, I don't think anyone's manned up. Yeah, I could see that from a mile away. Danaher was always on his own. Who is that to? Oh, how has he got so much space, McCarthy? Well, if it wasn't the end already, this is going to make sure of it if he puts this through. Even a point will do enough. He's bent it, bent it, bent it back to perfection. Well, that's I'm flat after that. Absolutely. We had the clearance. 
Petrarca just couldn't get it on the shoot. That's play on and holding the ball. Well, the Brisbane Lions have done enough. They will defeat an elite team of midfielders. He's just kicked that on the floor. <laughs> Maybe one last chance at a mark. It's not to be. And the mids, which I thought this was probably the easiest or our best chance to win a game with just exclusively midfielders, unable to get the job done. Brisbane winning the game. 7-3, 45-4, 27 I kicked a goal in every quarter, but nothing more than that. And after quarter time, it was two goals to one every term. So for, the, for all the power of the midfielders, they couldn't win the clearances, obviously getting smashed in the hitouts was the biggest problem. Uh, still won the contested footy though. Not enough tackle pressure on and and really the marking prowess, I guess, of, of what the Brisbane Lions were able to do was the other problem for us. 38 marks to nine. And that was probably all off the back of the key forwards. If we look at the marks, Starsevich, Danaher, Coleman. And it was also bombing the ball forward quite a lot. I don't think we used the football effectively enough going forward. So, we failed our first challenge. Trying to win a game with all mids. It might be able to be done, but we couldn't do it. So, we'll try again next time. Uh, and maybe we'll see how we go with a team of all forwards. We might have a little bit more leeway there because you can pick both key forwards and normal forwards. But thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.